Hello and welcome to this tutorial exploring Task Scheduler in Windows 11 because Task Scheduler is a powerful tool that automates a lot of your tasks and it ensures that your system runs smoothly and efficiently. Now let's switch to the Windows 11 machine and where I'm going to show you that how you can access, how you can open the Task Scheduler to do different tasks and set up some schedules. So here we are connected to the Windows 11 machine and let me click to the start and here I'm going to type the task and I don't need to type the full task scheduler. I just type the task and it will just show you the best match as per your text that you typed and that's the one. So let's click to the task scheduler. Now once you start seeing the task scheduler on the screen, so you're going to find that there are three different sections in the task scheduler. One is the library pane, the middle one is the middle pane, and this is the action pane. And all needs to be understood and needs to be, you know, utilized while creating the task and scheduling. Because when you wanted to trigger some actions, so this action pane really helps you to directly see the options in the list view and then click to the exact option that you really wanted to go for. So these are the way and how it is displayed when you open the task scheduler. Now let's start with the action pane and here it says because there are several ways to do things here as you, have, you already knew while watching our previous videos and here you can see that if you wanted to create a basic task what you can do you can right click to this task scheduler and go for the create basic task. So this is the one way. And another way is what that you can use the action pane, which is shown here, which is you can see. And here's the option. So you can directly click to create basic task. So let's click to the create basic task. And then it will navigate you to the visit. And as soon as you complete the visit, your task will be scheduled. And you have already provided all the details to trigger that task during this visit. So let's make some tasks like GSS-Test and we are skipping the description at this moment. Then click Next and now you can see it says what when do you want the task to start. So this is the trigger as you can see the trigger is selected on the left and you should be sure while you are creating the task on the scheduler that when you really want it to trigger that task. So there are a lot more slots you can see like the daily weekly monthly one time when the computer start when i log on when a specific event log so it can run on according to these slots so let's say if we wanted to run something on the daily basis then we should go with the daily then click next and here you can set up the time that on under which time slot and or, and at what time what specific time you really want it to trigger that task and here you can also define because it shows recur every and there is a box so you can define like every one day or two day or three day so it's up to you that how frequent you require this task to be triggered so let's check the current time which is 820 so let's set up to the 825 that would be good because we can review it later on once it's created then you can see recur every one day that's okay and here you have three options to take the action because here is the following action that you can select so this action will be triggered when once this task started to happen so here you have the first option is start a program so you can set up you can select any program any file executable file here in the task scheduler and what's going to happen that when this task timing is there, this program will be executed on the same time. Other than that, you can set up a send an email option or you can display a message. So let's go with the display message, but let me show you start a program. How this does this work? Now, once you if you select the start a program, so you have to select any program from your directory, from your hard drive where you're mostly program saved and you have to select any specific program so let's 
do this thing and let's try so here let's go to the desktop and let me select any file like study for exam then click next and the task name is going to be JSS test and we have selected the time let me check it's 824 so we can easily review that how it it's done and how it works then you have further options like open the property dialog box for this task and then click finish yeah we want to review the property dialog box let's finish so this is the further property box where you can edit this task but we will came back here later and once you create your basic task so where you are going to find that task and if you wanted to edit this task how you will find that so first let's refresh the task scheduler local and here's the library you can see the google system all the detail has been you know available here and here you can see the active tasks that are already created and that are already aligned and that that works automatically which you can review from here that if you want to see that what are the default tasks that are already been running and utilizing your system resources so you can come here to the task scheduler and under the active task you can review all such tasks here and that will give you a lot more detail regarding this task so now to locate your newly created task you should do what you should click to the task scheduler local then click to the task schedule library and there it is you can see that this is the task that you just created and it triggers at 8 24 p.m every day and this is the task name and the status is ready so now I have a look that it automatically triggers this program to be started. And here you can see in the background. And what you need to do that once you find out that your task is ready, you need to right click to that task and you have to change the status to the run. So what's going to happen when you set it to the run, the task scheduler will align and will trigger that specific task on the provided interval and here from the same option you can go to the properties you can change the triggering time the interval so let's say is 826 so let's set up it for the 827 and keep it on the run state and then see again and let's say if you want that this task not should not be run at the trigger interval that you provided so all you need to do is to right click or disable this task or you can delete this task right from here so you can see that i've disabled this specific task and that's how you can use the task scheduler to set up things and you can see the history of all the enable task and you can go for the advanced as well once you click to the create task it will open this dialog box where you can define and create some advanced task on your windows 11 machine you have to name provide the name of this task then you can set up the trigger and here are some more details and some different customization that windows 11 offered here on this advanced task then you can define the actions and you can set up the condition to run these tasks like start the task only if the computer is idle for start the task only if the computer is on AC power you can set up all these conditions for your task to be executed so this is how it works